So, um, just to recap uh, with the, the commitments, it's valuing the voice of the person, it's respecting the language, it's developing and showing and demonstrating genuine curiosity in this person, who is this person, and getting to know that person. It's becoming the apprentice, which is actually risking seeing that, that this person is the expert on their own life in many ways, though that has to be balanced with other people's views. Uh, within the multidisciplinary team, clearly. Uh, the next one is revealed personal wisdom, which is basically about that there's a storehouse of wisdom within people who have difficulty, perhaps because they've had the difficulty before, but we should become curious about that. Do you, what is about this, uh, the storehouse of, of wisdom that we all have within us and, and the place that has in recovery? Well, during our recovery, we haven't got a clue what sort of wisdom, what sort of talent that we've got untapped. It's something that, whether consciously or unconsciously, we lock away. To aid our recovery as such is to tap in to all of this. And that can be facilitated by various people. And it's how they actually get you to unwind or, un or to open Pandora's box and let those talents out to aid your recovery. I can't say, I can't say the tidal model it will be a way, I can't say uh, the self project or the self way of training will be a way. I couldn't actually put a finger on it and say this will be the way to it. All I know that there are people out there who have got the talent, the gift to unlock Pandora's box. So you're saying people need help to discover the store of wisdom they have within them? Yes. Um, Everybody looks at recovery, although it's our own personal journey and it's something that we all have to take on in our own way, it, we still need somebody to actually show us the way or to encourage us again. <coughs> or, or I should put it in my way, um, somebody who is hold on to hope for me and is willing to give it back because that's how I look at it. Because there's times when I cannot hold hope and unless there's somebody there strong enough to do that and then strong enough to pass it back on that's the important thing. And then for me to carry on with it, that, that's what I'll, I'll be looking for. And like I said, it, we cannot do it all on our own. I'd like to stress the importance of spirituality um, sometimes in aiding recovery. Um, and I think it's quite important that nurses are prepared to discuss spiritual issues um, in the broader sense, not necessarily religious, um, and if appropriate, involve other people, chaplains or um, other friends or something, to help people because spirituality is about finding meaning and purpose in your life through something which is bigger than you, outside you. It's about discovering the meaning and purpose and that can be absolutely crucial for recovery because it sets you on a new path and it gives you meaning and hope and purpose. And I think also um, the spiritual bit for me was um, sort of um, rather than, um, as one fellow service user colleague said, rather than recovery it was more discovery. It was a mm. self-discovery of not what was before but what I have become as I've been moving through this. And before I was just like a character in a story being written about, I didn't have any control over it. And now I'm, as if you like, the author of my own life, in a way, and have this sense of um, not so much personal responsibility, although that comes into it, but a bit more of uh, control. And, um, you know, back in the driving seat again. Could I just say, identify with that, because certainly um, I felt in the past, as I was growing up, that I was a character in someone else's script. <laughs> Yes, and I didn't like particularly being that person. And, and I'm wondering how many of, of, of people who come into the mental health services feel very strongly that, that it's the role, this other people's version and view of them that is what they are. You're just like my mother, you're just like my father, or whatever, like this. And part of the recovery is, is actually, as you were <coughs> saying, learning to write the script of your own life. You're not reading something that somebody else has written about you like this sort of like paternal medical model it's it's more to do with um, uh, it's gone out of my head now forgive me <laughs> um, can anyone help me well if we could just get back to the spirituality because yeah. it always interests me because I'm a card carrying atheist 
but I have to recognise yeah, that for some people, spirituality uh, and or religion are extremely important bits of their life, and mm. we have to take that mm. on board. If exactly. we're trying to understand somebody's story and their ex how they've experienced that story, we need to understand their cultural and religious background. Otherwise, mm. we're going to make really erroneous judgments. Assumptions. Mm. Yes. Assumptions exactly. and judgments. And it's exactly. all so easy to do. Very, very easy. And it's what's important to that individual, not a one-size-fits-all, is it? That's right. Um, so can I just say that yeah. only we make wrong judgments, but you may just dismiss all of it, <coughs> all that religious part of it, however strange and weird it is to yourself, from the picture. And as somebody said, it's quite important. Just to illustrate it, um, I'll say just a little about myself that um, in the past I've had very vivid and frightening spiritual um, or religious experiences and so many times I've been told, oh that's ridiculous and so I just stopped talking about it and then of course it doesn't get you anywhere. Because when you have your experiences ridiculed, it, it doesn't really help you, you know. Yeah. And it doesn't really uh, diminish any the the amount of distress that these. Oh cause. no! Exactly, it doesn't yeah. at all. And so it, it makes it worse because you feel blamed for the whole thing as well as everything else. Absolutely, happens. the same with me with depression. You know, yeah. always that phrase: "Pull your socks up, but get on with it." That's People right. worse off than you. I mean, yes. it's all relative, and if you don't have your emotions honoured, yes. whatever they are, that's, you're no, never going to recover comment I've, I've had a lot of times from people, oh, you're intelligent, you shouldn't be like this. Mm. <laughs> I mean, well, many, many yeah. times yeah. I've had that said. Yeah. Well, it's so easy. <laughs>